Hi, I'm Sutton Parks of www.suttonparks.com. I want to announce today my new book, You Can Sleep in Your Car, But You Can't Drive Your House to Work. A lot of people, through, in fact, this is my best book yet. A lot of people have asked me, um, you know, what's your story? Well, in 2004, I bought, well, 2002, I bought a home working a job I hated and bought a house I couldn't afford. It was foreclosed in 2004, and the story takes off at what was happening through that time, the depression and some of the thoughts I had during that time. And uh, January of 2005, the sheriff came and kicked me out of my house. You're, you can live in a house after it's been foreclosed about three months. And uh, I failed to move out during that little grace period they give you. So the sheriff came with two guys in black hefty bags and they put everything out on the street corner. I was unemployed, didn't have any money. Um, I ended up living at a truck stop down just south of Franklin, Tennessee. And uh, living in my car, there's two men that were instrumental into helping me turn my life around. I was at a point in life where I either wanted to die or to live. But I thought, well, if I'm going to die anyway, why don't I really try to live and see, you know, maybe if I applied some principles in life, maybe it'll, maybe they'll work. You know, I've always read positive, optimistic books, but I never really applied them. So, um... There's Larry A. and then Father Gordon. Father Gordon's a retired Orthodox minister, and he was holding a uh, sort of a Bible study with these men, sort of a men's group on Saturday mornings, and someone invited me to it, so I would go there. and We called them the Bloody Knees Group because they'd fall down and get back up, fall down and get back up, you know, make mistakes but get back up. And one, one morning, Father Gordon talked about giving, uh, being grateful for all situations, good and bad. I've heard that before. Everyone's heard that before. I'm sure you have too. But what I didn't really hear was the give gratitude for the bad things in life. I've never really done that. Father Gordon said that sometimes good things turn out bad. Sometimes bad things turn out good. So we shouldn't judge them. We should be grateful for them. Even in bad times, find something to be grateful to God for. And if we can't find anything, just be grateful for needing His mercy, grace, and love. So that night, I leaned back my car... And I thought, okay, what can I be grateful for? And I thought, well, thank God for a roof over my head. Even though it's a sunroof, it's better than being outside where it's rainy and cold. I mean, this was February 1st I was doing this. Um, thank God I had running water. I had to run across the truck stop to get it. But it was a lot better than <laughs> not having it. And um, in fact, in the truck stop, there was toilets and toiletries. I never had to buy toilet paper. I never had to clean a toilet. That was all taken care of. And from there, that gratitude grows. It's sort of like a gratitude snowball. You've heard Dave Ramsey talk about the debt snowball. Well, gratitude's the same way. If I think of something I'm grateful for, it's easier to think of the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. If I think of something I'm not grateful for, it's easier to think of all kinds of things I'm not grateful for. So it's really changing my perspective. And at that point in my life, as well as today, but especially then, I had to change my thinking. Because it wasn't circumstances that got me into that situation. It was my thinking that got me into that circumstance that put me in that situation. So I had to change my thinking first and change my actions to get out of that. And I have, and this book is about that journey. And um, you'll be able to find something in here that you can use to help improve your life or something that you're already doing that you can see how it's worked at at, at a very bottom. And everyone has struggles in life. I mean, my, I'm not unique. I was very lucky that, I, you know, I did have a car and I did have all these things living in America and in, in a very wealthy time in history. So I'm, I'm very fortunate. I mean, it's, it's, um, I'm happy about that. And I understand you at home, you have your struggles to go through too. So maybe this will help you or help a friend that's going through that. You can get it on Amazon. Just look up. You can sleep in your car, but you can't drive your house to work. It's $14.95. The Kindle version is only $0.99. Cents. And if you see me at one of my book tours at the local coffee shops in Franklin, it's just going to be $10 with an autograph. If you want to host a, a, a house concert, I'd be happy to come, speak on the book, play a few songs, or a, at a coffee house near your, your house. Just contact me at suttonparks at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.